gulab jamans. <laughs> Give me your syrup, daddy. <laughs> Me. Man's not involved still. Man's. Man's not involved. Why did we always run into the villains? I mean, I know it's supposed to be that terror look shady, right? I get this. However, why does he always, when he lands, he runs <sighs> straight into the villains? And he's always stupid. He's always like, huh, don't, I don't get why I'm thinking badnesses. And you're like, bro, bad things are happening. Because you're a soft cock, bro. Insta kill. Yeah, we put the um, the hyperdrive keyblade on. We got it at the end of Lido and Snotch. You didn't see that part. Because we're fucking awesome, mate. Um, we had a break. Yeah, well, we've done, we done many chips. things. Chips and bits. Get some chips. Get some scrap. Chips and scraps. But we just got chips and bits. Oh, I hate these fucking monkeys, bro. Yeah. But yeah, we got uh, I don't know if we mentioned it last time. I think we, we grazed over it, but we had upgraded our block and our our air slide. Yeah, ice so slide. You see, it's got ice slide now. So if you slide slide into him, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it hurts. It actually hurts them to take slide damage. Yeah. And we've got cure shield. So if we block successfully, we cure. <coughs> we also have poison shield, but I'm not sure how good that is. I think it just hurts them. But I don't know if it will po I don't know if it's only poison though. It might not hurt. It might just have a chance to poison the enemy, which is kind of shit. Yeah, and why is he like Billy? He's like a man with a boy's body. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Do you want to match my star? <laughs> oh, Mark's like, knee soft was weird. <laughs> we just watched it and we, we, we kind of understand it vaguely. 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 Only vaguely. <laughs> Literally, if you want to know how annoying Billy is, watch that episode of South Park, episode I think it's four. What was it called again? The episode name? Yeah. No, I didn't check the episode name. You so. did, because I said it to you and you went, no, it's this. It's the one about the superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> Billy is as annoying in real life as Mark Zuckerberg is in that episode. I'm pretty sure it's episode 4. Yeah. But Billy is that annoying. You think you can block me? <laughs> you cannot uh, block me. <laughs> Damn it, Mark Zuckerberg. It's like, literally, just I was replaced with Zuckerberg with Billy. Like, Billy, you're a penis. I cannot be a penis because I am not a penis. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that is Billy, bro. <coughs> This guy, bro. He's always getting involved in next man's shit. But why does he though? Why? It's like literally, he has got to be like the most unluckiest motherfucker in history. It's like he lands in Neverland. He doesn't run into Peter Pan or the Lost <coughs> or Tinkerbell. He runs into fucking Captain Hook. Yeah, Point bro. one. And then the guy who's kind of a weird ass like fucking pirate guy with a hook hand goes, "Yo, G, do something for me." He's like, oh, "Okay." You seem like a and decent like, guy. I can understand this happened in the first time. Every world he's gone to, G. Every world he's gone to, he's run into the bad person. And every time they've asked him to do something, and every single fucking time he's been proven to be a dickhead. And he still does it. He still just trusts person off the first thing. It's like, bro, how many, you don't need that. How many worlds do you have to go to to help the villains to realize you're making yourself look even worse to the Trust, people who are chasing you? Learn a little bit, though. And just be like, you know what? I'm kind of stupid. Hi, Potion. There was another chest there. What are you doing? No. It's around the corner there. Turn around. It's behind you, I think. That was a sore chest. Is it up? Oh, maybe I was fucked up. Maybe I <laughs> fucked up. Maybe I am fucked up. Maybe I fucked myself. Maybe I liked it. Oh, that, yeah, that's just the save point. Yeah, you need to go the other way. You're going the wrong way. Oh, swear. You go. You see. No, not that way. Turn completely behind you. That's where I just came from. Yeah, completely behind you. So, what, not, not go where I came from? Yeah, that way. No, no, no. no. Not that way. No. The top corner of the map. There you go. You see in the map? Look at the map. Yeah, yeah get the chest as well. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, mate. Mm. Fake taxi. Oh, did you say fake taxi? <laughs> now, now where am I going? Uh, I don't know if you have to go in. If, I don't know which, where Skull Rock is, but I presume it's over <clears> there. <throat> you just, yes, you can't get out now. 
you yeah, literally have to go go around. Go around there, yeah. Go around the corner and then go on the little island. Turn, turn the camera. There you go. And this way. Yeah. Can you do multiple of those? Okay, cool. Now you need to follow these steps. And just keep following them straight ahead. Yeah, go through here. You're done! You're just a walla! Don't find the wall. Do not find the wall. So I have to do it all again, bro. It's not worth it. You don't need to kill these guys, bro. Yeah, but they they're just side men, bro. Yeah. They're just little men. They're just side men, bro. They ain't none. You thought you was a real man. Then you just decide. What happens if you break that rock? And you break it, though. I reckon so. No. Playing with the mushroom tip. Yeah. I think these get broken by cannonballs, and you can actually fully fist it. Right. Uh, can you? It's like you're hitting it, but there's no. No, it needs to hit. You need to hit it with the final thing. Gotcha. <coughs> Seven bomb banana. Yeah. I need to bleach again. Just... Yeah, it's on Netflix now, but it's only up it? to like season three, which is like forty something episodes. That's not even. How many seasons it. are there? Huh? How many seasons are there? Bleach? There's bare to seasons. get to the end of Isaac. If there's only 40 episodes and that's just Bankai, <coughs> season 3 is Bankai. Oh, when they first get Zangetsu Bankai. Bankai, yeah, the beginning. Like, right when when, oh. when Urahara is teaching him and, and Inoichi and is like, like. Oh, your captain could use Bankai! I mean, no, when, Ino, like, when Inoichi is teaching him, not even Urahara has taught him yet. Inoichi is still teaching him how to, like, control the, or get to Bankai, not even flipping. No, like, to use you it. do realize that your sword can transform even further, right? And he's like, <coughs> what? Yeah, called Bankai. Only captains can do you for that, bro. Like, only captains can use Bankai. And then don't um, what's his name? Who is Sembon Bonan? <coughs> I can't remember no more. <coughs> God damn it, Kukuma, I got it out. Fuck your aids, bro. What's his name? You make me Google it now. You make me do a bad thing that Billy I doesn't. I can't remember his name. I think it was in, in. Who is Ryan Scalora? Mm. Captain. Captain. Scalo Scalora. Ka Ka Katsuya? <coughs> oh no, who's, who's going to deal with his aids? I'm in charge now. Welcome to you Solo with Chris. Chris can give himself a solo. Mm. <coughs> that is better. Oh, you ended my solo early, bro. Yeah, I don't need people, to people, spit th people thought they were going to have an intimate session with me, bro. Nobody wants to have an intimate session with you, Chris. Shut up, I have intimate sessions with myself. <coughs> Where am I going? <coughs> oh, there's still something left. Oh. <coughs> Coughing, bro. Making the audio sound shitty. It's authentic. It don't care if it's authentic, bro. No one's to listen to you coughing for like five minutes, bro. I ain't been coughing for five minutes, bro. Oh, yeah? Well, I just unlocked Surprise 2. So, are you even more fucking surprised? We only have one more. Um, Look, I gave me. Don't give me the good one. Don't give me Twisted Hours 2. Give me fucking Surprise 1. Fuck you, G. We went back to Twisted Hours. So, this is how you do this game. It's kind of stupid, but like, it's cool at the same time. Just like me. <laughs> Where am I going? Like, hey, this, let me this, this, wait, wait, wait. wait. Let me I want to get over there. Are like, you coming from the other side? No, you can definitely get there. No, I'm going to try. Fuck you. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? You didn't <laughs> do it because I'm fucking stupid? Awesome. Why's your cousin doing in the chest, bro? Bro. Uh, meet your crash. You all moved apart. Fucking bro. Fucking bro. Give me your golden jam. <laughs> Yo, dancing lemon. I'm beating him till he gives me his golden jam. Bro. <clears throat> bro, I ain't got time for you. I'm gonna fall off the cliff and die. Yeah, trust me. How about that life? How about that? I reckon you got. Are we supposed to drip? drip yeah, drip I down. reckon. I reckon still. Okay, I'm gonna. There we go. I just wanted that to load. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. There you go. <sighs> I done the th many services. Well done. Well done. <clears throat> I'm going to bum you, Shmee. Oh, Captain. Captain. Hey, you wanna clean my pipes? <laughs> what are you talking about, Mr. Shmee? <laughs> No. Billy's gonna look like Why is it? Well. You know what? what? We're inside I reckon, yeah. I reckon that mm -hmm. these kind of like social hierarchies 
of what of, of relationships that they made in all of these films yeah yeah were done to implement <coughs> control in children because in, they explain. they understood by watching these kinds of like well like him calling him master and captain and shit like that just just the general premise of a very very like submissive submissive individual mm -hmm. Okay. To a really like to an asshole who's actually a pussy inside. Like he's literally a bully. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? But he's one of the rare like <coughs> he actually is a rare one that he actually can fight. But he is he's a pussy about the the crocodile. Yeah. The crocodile scares him. And but, Peter Pan. No, he's, he's not scared of Peter Pan. He's no. not fighting Peter Pan. No, he's not. He actually wants to kill Peter Pan. He, yeah, he wants, wants to, to kill Peter Pan, but on one on one, he knows he can't beat him. No, he don't. He thinks he can. Does he? Yeah, because at the end of the movie, he fights him, and he fully fights him with his sword, and he's like, and I think they're like equal, and then the crocodile comes, he's like, and he just runs off, and he gets eaten by the crocodile or something. Oh. You gotta fight Peter Pan. Put oh, yeah. Peter in his place, bruv. Knock man uh. down. Tell him, bruv, you pussy, old boy. <laughs> Where you coming around here with them pussy thing, bruv? Like, he's shanking with his little fucking prison shank, bruv. What's he doing? Who fights with a fucking prison shank, bruv? Five pound Rambo shank. Oh shit, he's getting destroyed. Mm. I'll solemn him, bro. When he comes down. Oh. You see, man got him with the. Man got him with the air dash. Yeah, you can hit him with the ice and from your air. Stop flying away, you pussy old bro. There we go. I'll solemn him now. You don't blade charge. That's the that's the long the massive sword. The last long sword. Long sword. Oh, you want the long sword, do you? I'll give you the long sword. You won't be able to handle the, the long sword. So we think Peter Pan's bad because we like we don't realize Hook is an asshole. So we believe him that these small children are bad. Many of the gold. That's why we were fighting Peter Pan. <coughs> and then we still were trying to help him. <coughs> you know, you dumb fuck, he was a pirate. Do, what do you not understand about this situation? Sounds like you've been <laughs> Sounds like you're a fucking idiot. <coughs> Sounds see. like you're a bit of a daft cunt, mate. <laughs> Trust. That's why he said I'll say because he's been tripped all over the place. You know, Tara's a bit of a dickhead, you know. He is stupid. He's fully stupid. He's a bit of a dickhead, isn't he? He's easily led. Yeah. I mean, and like, he's very strong-minded well, like at the like, same time. Xehanort's not even a genius, bro. Xehanort makes himself sound like a genius. Like, this was his big plan all along. It's literally Tara being stupid that makes it work. Yeah. Because he's like, oh, I'm doing bad things. Come and chase me, guy. Come chase me. And because he's so dumb, he doesn't yeah, ask no, anyone to help him. None of his like, stuff was going to happen. And, and like he was, just, He's just been waiting for the opportunity and he saw a stupid opportunity and he took mm. it. But even then, even if Terra was dark, cool, but he's stupid as well. He should have been like, yo, Ven, Aqua, team up with me. Let's go deal with this. And none of this like misunderstandings would happen. That would... That <coughs> so and they would have known how to fight with each other right at the end. Yeah. And it wouldn't have got so stupid that he wouldn't have accidentally got into a fight to the death with Eriquis. So Eriquis wouldn't have died. And then they could have all teamed up, took on Xehanort. He wouldn't have exposed his asshole to the darkness enough to be body snatched. And they would have bloody won. Guys are bloody prone cracker, bro. We've already been here. This is where we went into the score rock. Huh. Sorry, because things don't work like that. These are not full off of all cliffs. Did you go back inside for? You uh -huh. supposed to? What? Yeah, There's a different entrance. Because... Fuck these jellyfish, bro. These are the dumbest enemies of all time. Why? Why did you just spin your bell tip around and flipping knock the chest over? Why? Fuck. Bro, it's like they went... What, like, dumb thing can we do? You can just use our solemn and... You don't even need to look. That hurt, oh, that kills them. Yeah. You one-shot them with your ice dash. Oh, that was the best investment ever, bro. Oh, you got a blade charge. How? Oh. Oh, that, oh, oh look, that looks really cool. Look at that. Hit him, bro. They're gonna start hitting him. Oh, I'll See, solve him with this. Oh shit, bro. Oh, wait, hang on. If I go here... Gotcha. Oh, he moved. Oh, you tried to go through them all? Yeah. You got, you got the finisher, innit? Yeah. 
You got the finisher, go finish him in the middle, will you? He just spins around anyway. <laughs> use um you can use that thingy as well. Brutal blast is awesome. On the coon! On the coon! That was nice of you. I on the coon! Right, I need to find out where that comes from, but it's fucking hilarious. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, it's like literally this Japanese research thing. That all these jellyfish just turned up off the coast of Japan. And they went to investigate it or something. And it's like this professor dude. It's like that like old Japanese man, grey hair, glasses. He's in a Super boat. smart. Yeah, he's in a boat. And there's other Japanese man who's like younger. And he's Honda. His name is Honda. So he just calls him Honda Kun. Because they obviously don't talk in English. They're fucking Japanese, bro. And he's investigating it. And he sends Honda in a basically in a diving suit. To go under the water and look for jellyfish, Ooh. and they just the guy just literally jumps off the edge of this like little fucking boat in it. It's like a little tiny like you know just like a normal like thing you'd go across a lake in. So on one of those in it with like a little motor on the back and everything. He's just sitting in there. The guy jumps over. And he's like Honda Kun, Honda Kun. There are jellyfish down there. <laughs> he's not trying to look English for this one. Oh my god! Do you see a jellyfish? He's like no. No jellyfish! <laughs> like, oh, okay! <laughs> and they like, literally go back in, they go to the next one. Hello jellyfish! <laughs> oh, hey jellyfish! <laughs> it's like, no. It was a proper documentary thing as well, it wasn't like a joke or anything, it was a proper documentary. <coughs> and then looking at this, like, this jellyfish bloom or whatever they call it, where like a massive amount of jellyfish just appear. Mm. Why it happened, <coughs> and the migration, and where they come from, and all this nonsense, isn't it? Mm. I was like, right, bro. Oh, did you see about the, the immortal jellyfish? Some of them live for that, like... No, it's literally immortal. It doesn't have a lifespan. Wow, is it that simple? It regenerates its cells at such a rate that it doesn't decay. It doesn't age. Wow. And at any point it feels like... And it has control over this mechanism. So it can make itself age. And then if it feels like... So it can basically, like, you say, get to 40. And you're like, I feel kind of old, bro. And you just turn yourself back to 10. It can just do that. I'm pretty sure if we can handle... If we can harness that... Probably yeah. utilise it in some way or form. I hope... Technically, that never happens. Yeah, you, because you, the problem you get, that we you get, have, you get you get a very expensive thing made mm. that can only be bought by very expensive and powerful. Not even people. that. Let's say it, it becomes so cheap, everyone can do it. Right? <clears throat> okay. Overpopulation is gonna fuck us up the arse because no one's gonna die of old age. Yeah, we're true. gonna overpopulate. Look at China has overpopulation right now. They can't even handle. They're like trying to say things like you can have one child, two child. People are busting those laws, moaning about it, flipping all those problems. Like, how would we do it if we were in a society where you stay 20 forever? People don't want to have a kid. But you can't have a kid because no, no, there's no space because no one's dying. Unless you die of things like cancer or like terminal illnesses or you get That's hit by a bus. Have them. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but like, if you couldn't age, that would cut a load of the shit off. Yeah, it would. Death rate would plummet, and the like the the reproduction rate would continue, and it fuck us all over. Um, oh, yeah. But um, yeah, it's, it's fucking weird. But then you'd get the downside was, as you say, it would be fucking super expensive, and they'd give it to only like the rich, and it would lead to like this consistent dictatorship. Because mm -hmm. you imagine like like the people so in charge cool. would be immortal. Trust me. And at a point, they would start manipulating shit because the people who are being controlled die out and they live on yeah. to continue fucking with you and it will create weirdnesses. For fuck's sake, this one won't come out. So I'm trying to make it come out then. Yeah, okay. You just found the power proof fruit. What? Why do they all end up on Destiny Island? I know I'm not really massively paying attention. I think it's because they're like, they're sh oh shit. Their shit's supposed to be like. <laughs> yeah, mummy. No. I think. Ooh, mummy Billy! You know, you know what's funny? I think Billy got that. Oh, the or hot. Did you, did you put it in that trolley? Yeah, I made them. Did you put it in the trolley? You cooked them? Yeah, I made them. I didn't know you were supposed to cook them. Yeah, I made them. Huh. They're fresh. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> what, what's going on? I'm in a room. I'm eating senzu beans. They are senzu beans, aren't they? Mm. What are they probably called? I can't remember. At the moment. Is at the moment. Mm. <laughs> Give me the century. Why does Hester Blumenthal <laughs> always say everything she says? Like, at the moment. What? Um, at the moment or umami? Oh, maybe umami. But umami is a Japanese word that means just meaty savouriness. 
Yeah, I think that might be what you're talking about. But you can buy umami paste. Ah! I swear that my hands are just like a hazard. <laughs> you didn't make them all dooby up. <laughs> just jacking too much. You got sort of grip on your hand to work down from jacking off too much, bro. <laughs> it's all got, smooth. They even got blisters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was saying, why are they on? Have some wh more tea. Why you did they all end up here? Because their hearts are tied to it or some shit. Like that. How? Their hearts ain't tied to shit yet. Yeah, but later on, it is. Don't get me wrong. Later on, it is. Yeah, the, the, the way the way shit works and blah blah blah. Time is bendable. My asshole is full of feces. Yeah. Over here. But all I know is that because Ventus meets Sora. He knows Sora has a big heart and has the power to heal people by his connections or some nonsense like that he doesn't actually understand but somehow knows. And it makes his heart go into Sora to be healed. That links these three to Sora and it's all about the links to Sora. That makes no sense. Even though Riku is the real guy, mm. is he running on a different frequency right now or something? No. They just don't know he's just some random guy on their island. They're just like, oh cool. Riku, this is the kind of douche you're gonna grow up to be. Did you come from the outside world? Hi. Why would you say that? Because, because you look kind of fucking weird. And I mean, no one around here dresses like that shit. Smart kid. So this is also you? kind of weird as well. On like back, what you um, or you, what would you consider that? Like altering the story. Is that in Kingdom Hearts One, they lived on the island, and they made it sound like they've always just lived on this island, and there's nothing. That's why they want to leave because there's nothing and no one knows what's outside and but no one wants to leave and they want to leave because they want to find out what's outside remember that's why they want to make the, the raft uh -huh. but in kingdom hearts 2 oh look it's ansem oh xemnas uh oh no is that is that young xen or is that xemnas no, that's xemnas and that's future how is he seeing the future right now no one fucking knows is it is it because so how did you get here? Anyway? Xehanort's inside him? Ansem's heart is inside Terra. It was inside some reason you're Riku. In the At world. this point? No. Yeah. <clears throat> no, but rem you got to remember things in this game make no fucking sense because they can time travel. You want to uh, yeah. You're fucked when Xemnas can time travel. Really yeah, so I think what it's supposed to be is because he gets body snatched in the future and becomes Ansem. Right. And then when Ansem splits into... You know, Heartless Ansem and Xemnas. Right. He body swaps his power into Riku, which is where he gets the skin armor from and everything in one. Uh -huh. And gets the darkness keyblade is because Ansem is using him as a puppet. I remember he has to kick him out. And you have all that story in three was it during 358 over two days and stuff. Where he keep if he loses control of his heart, he turns into Ansem, remember? So long Ooh. as you have the making, Riku, and yes, yeah, so he defeats one. him in his heart, and so he will never turn into Ansem again. One day be. Remember Enjoy that shit? So I think what they're trying to say is no because he is Ansem in the future, he's resonating with his future self because he is a. Yay! So See? Vicky looks after us. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Hashtag, hashtag Billy's a douche. Everyone, like, comment, and subscribe if you think Billy's a douche. Because he doesn't give me the money. Because he doesn't give me the money. Why does give me the money? You know what I mean? Why is it still going on, bro? It's going for like three minutes. It's a secret, okay? Trust me, I kind of want the episode to end so I can dash these things and make some tea. So he show yeah, he makes him a Keyblade Master. <coughs> or Keyblade Wielder. He yeah. gives the power to Riku. Which is why Riku becomes a Keyblade Wielder in one. No, what? Mm. Why won't you but because he gives into the darkness of his heart, Sora it goes to Sora. Which again is a retcon. Is a what? Retcon. Changing of the story. Because in Kingdom Hearts 1, the story is Riku's the Keyblade Wielder. He turns evil. Well, he doesn't turn evil, he just accepts darkness. So the Keyblade leaves him and goes to Sora. Alright? Terra's using darkness. His Keyblade ain't fucking leaving. Xehanort uses darkness, his yeah, Keyblade ain't leaving. They use. So no, yeah. but they're saying the Keyblade fully has awareness. Oh, there's his best one. Um, the, the the Keyblade fully has an awareness to be able to say, dude, you're a bad person, I'm gone. And it transfers its power to someone else. Yeah, but I think it still sees light in him. Yeah, but what about Xehanort? Xehanort's Keyblade. Why isn't his Keyblade left? 
Yeah. But he's played by Brunei. He, he's got control over both, isn't it? Like that. But when Ricky's a kid, he ain't got control. So he just like says fuck. That. I don't think they just changed the story. Like that was like a big I twist. Think it, I think it, I think it was the big massive it. twist of number one. Because a lot of things in one don't make sense, and I think the reason is because they didn't plan the story out for these games, and they've since made it more in depth. <laughs> Basically, to, to to wrap this up, because we're finishing the episode, like Kyrie. Carrie loses her heart. She don't turn into a heartless. She don't turn into a nobody. Her body's just there. She fully don't do nothing. But well, then in no, two, right? no. Right? But in one, nothing happens. In two, they introduce Namane and say that was her nobody. So then, what was her lifeless body doing sitting on a ship? Wasn't that supposed to become the nobody? No, that doesn't become the nobody. Still, the body becomes the body. Just stays as the body. No, it don't. No, yeah, it does. No, it don't because Sora's body vanishes. Remember when he turns into a heartless? He just vanishes and there's a heartless there. Maybe it's because Kyrie is a pure of heart. It could be, but I'm saying like they, I just think they didn't plan it. No, they probably didn't. Where are we supposed to be going now? Bye, guys. We'll find out for the next episode where we'll find out how many wieners it takes to fill you up. Maybe five, maybe six wieners. Huh?